Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using only Beauty Bay products. So here's the little twister. So I went on to Beauty Bay last Friday night. Then I kind of got inspired through other YouTubers. So I kind of thought, you know what, I'm actually going to go through all the categories of makeup such as primer, foundation, powder, mascara, eyeliner, etc, etc. And I'm going to go to define the products and go for the cheapest product. So this is basically just a full face of makeup using Beauty Bay's cheapest products. This is all the products we have here and this is everything that is on my face right now. Okay, so to just get started, this is my invoice and this is honestly the biggest invoice <laughs> I have ever had from Beauty Bay. I think the most expensive product I bought was seven pounds. Are you joking me? Seven pound for a clear brow gel from Jordana. I don't actually think that's cheap at all, but whatever. Look how big my hair is today, oh my God. So first off, I'm just going to start with primer and this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer and this is the matte one. Picking out a primer from Wet n Wild, this definitely wouldn't have been my first choice because I don't really like mattifying primers because I do have dry skin. Oh, it's actually made my face feel quite soft. Mm. To kind of switch it up a bit, I thought I would just do my eyebrows first just to get that out of the way because I absolutely hate doing my eyebrows. So this is the Jordana Shape and Set Gel and this is clear as you can see. To fill in my brows I got the LA Girl Brow Pomade and this is in the shade Warm Brown. I'm just going to try and bring whatever eyebrow hair that I have <laughs> and just comb it up the way. It should be quite exciting to see if this has any like stain power as in is it going to actually make my eyebrows like stick because usually because my eyebrow hairs are actually so long um throughout the day i'll always get like the odd wee hair that comes down <laughs> so rude so yeah, so as I was saying, this is the LA Girl Brow Pomade and this is in the shade Warm Brown. Just coat it a like, tiny bit and then I kind of like to scrape the product off because I don't like to go in with too much. I think I really should have shaved my eyebrows before this, Jesus. I have to say though, I have been very lucky. I've actually never used an eyebrow pomade that has been bad, if that makes sense. Well, apart from the Benefit one. This one, if this is the Cabroi, this is shit. I have a feeling that I'm going to have a really bad eyebrow dye today because my eyebrows need severely shaved. If you're new to my channel um, and you're wondering why I keep on saying shaved, it's because I shaved my eyebrows. Oh my God, look at my eyebrow. <gasps> oh, do I even want to carry on? No. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to shave my eyebrows and then I'll be back. I cannot look at my eyebrows any longer. I really apologise if you have no interest in this whatsoever, but I thought that I would just come on camera and shave my eyebrows in front of you guys. <laughs> just in case any of you are actually interested in how I shave my eyebrows. So I just take like a cream and I just put it over my eyebrows because I don't want to give my face a dry shave. <laughs> Thankfully, I've never actually cut myself while doing this. Just take a razor, just your average Gillette razor. <laughs> the best Emma can get. <laughs> Obviously, throughout time, like I will change this razor like every week, by the way, or every fortnight. It kind of depends how lazy I get with my eyebrows. So I mainly just focus shaving it, just at the edge, and just underneath. But this wee pomade is actually pretty good so far, I don't have any complaints, it's just pretty average to be honest. So yeah, I just like to focus most of the product just on like the tail and the mid section of the brow. Take most of that product off and then just start to feed the front. Oh. 
Okay, so next up is foundation, and this is the Jordana Complete Cover Maximum Coverage 201 Foundation and Concealer. Ugh. I love trying new foundations, but at the same time, I hate it. That Rude Cosmetics foundation, oh my goodness. I, I'm not even joking, I've been wearing that foundation ever since, and the concealer. It's going a wee bit yellow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a freak. Whoa. Okay, so I definitely think the foundation is a bit too yellow for me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> although, in saying that, I actually quite like the foundation. <laughs> it's no L'Oreal Tree Match, it's no Rude Cosmetics, it's no Marc Jacobs. It's Jordana. <laughs> it actually looks really nice. It actually just looks really, really fresh. It's like my skin just looks quite healthy. I know it claims to be maximum coverage, um, but as I was saying in my previous video, I've just back from holidays recently and I have a few frecks on my head, like freckles, and it has not covered them up. Um, you can still kind of see them shining through, which I'm not mad at. I would prefer it to be more full coverage, but I think it's nice that because I am so full coverage all the time, then it's kind of nice to actually take a step back and actually let my skin breathe a wee bit. Next up we have concealer, and this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Ivory. Um, it doesn't necessarily look light whatsoever in my opinion, well, although it is actually quite pale. It's actually that pale that it's not picking up on my pale ass skin. But there's a girl like I would know from my area and she had bought this and she had sent me a few swatches of this. So I kind of knew what to expect whenever I was purchasing this because of her. So. Thank you Sarah if you're watching. Sarah is actually from the area I live here in Korean. So she also has started a YouTube channel. <laughs> which I think is absolutely fantastic. I find it so exciting and just... I just find it great to be honest whenever someone is actually doing something different or something different that you're doing. So yeah, she has started her own beauty YouTube channel doing makeup tutorials. So I will leave her channel in the description box below. So if you want to check her out, and please do, you can and go and subscribe to her channel. Although I don't think she's recently uploaded any videos. So Sarah, <laughs> come on, <laughs> we're all waiting. I'm just going to blend that out with just that damp beauty sponge. And I hope this doesn't lift the foundation by the way. Oh my god, I hate whenever concealers do that. So I'm going to put on a wee bit more because I think it's done something, but I think it definitely has brightened. Yeah, it's not too bad. So to set this face, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. And this is in the shade Warm Light. I'm just going to use this powder to set my under eyes, my T-zone, like around my mouth area, because that's where I get my smile lines. And I think I might just dab a little on like the rest of my face as well, because my face is quite sticky with this foundation. And I'm actually presently surprised with that shade. It looks very decent. It definitely looks like a good shade. My face is so a bit sticky. Oh dear. <sighs> now for my favourite part. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And I got the shades Precious Petal and Blossom Glow. These highlighters were so hyped about for so, so long. I'm just going to go into the Precious Petal one first. I think this is the most popular one that... Uh, Everybody raved about, but what's the about that? <laughs> Am I missing something here? I do not like that at all. Well, if your highlighter does this, it just means that it's the wrong shade for your skin tone. It just means that it's too dark, really. Um, like it looks fine. But once I start to move my head, you can see the shadow of it. So I'm going to go in with Blossom Glow and see if that helps. <laughs> or to see if I prefer this one. I love a really intense glow. Like, I want people to look at me 
and have to put sunglasses on, you know, whereas this is just like, ah, you're nice and radiant, you have a lovely glow, whereas I want an artificial glow, I want people to look at me and think, you have far too much highlighter on, love. I do not like those highlighters at all, which is weird because I was really excited for them and really looking forward to using them actually. Shit happens. And next up we have the Wet n Wild Colour Icon Blush and this is in the shade Pearlescent Pink. This is actually a beautiful beautiful shade and look how much blusher you get on this, like this is absolutely crazy. I have a feeling that this is going to be really really pigmented so I'm just going to go very light handed with this. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't look too bad. Next up we have bronzer and this is the Wet n Wild Colour Icon Bronzer and this is in the shade Ticket to Brazil. Now <laughs> this doesn't look too much like a bronzer to me. There was three bronzers on the website. There was a lighter one, this one and a darker one. On the website this one looked perfect for my skin tone and the darker one looked a wee bit too dark so I was kind of wanting to play it safe so I went for the medium one but I shit you not the lightest one was the colour of them drawers it was like that's not a bronzer this is literally what the bronzer looked like this is the scent powder by the way like honestly if you see the colour icon bronzer from Wet n Wild Go and look at the lightest shade, it looks like a satin powder. Oh no, it's got glitter in through it. I have a glittery forehead. Well, I don't have a glittery forehead, I just have a shimmery forehead. Oh no, okay, I think that's all the bronze and we're gonna do. <laughs> I think that's just how far it's gonna build up to, and I don't want to completely cake it on. It's not bad, it's kind of done a wee bit of something. <laughs> I actually quite like that bronzer. It's actually very subtle, but it's still bronze, my face, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, so yeah, before I jump onto the eyes, I'm just going to do my lips to get, get that out of the way. So for lip liner, this is the Wet n Wild Colour Icon Lip Liner. That was actually quite easy to use. Definitely isn't as dark as the packaging, which is a wee bit deceiving, but I'm not mad at it because if it was that colour, <laughs> hell no. So then we have the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick. And this is in the shade Nudie Batuti. I've heard of that before. That shade looks absolutely beautiful by the way, so this is a this is a lovely nude shade. <laughs> Shocker. And this packaging is nearly identical to Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks. Oh my god. Even the even the wand, even the Dofa applicator. Ah <gasps> it's very cool toned. Very, very cool toned. Oh my god. God, I love a cool toned nude. Don't get me wrong, I love a cool toned nude, but this is maybe just a shade of grey. It's maybe a wee bit too cool. Oh god. Now for eyeshadow, and this is the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening Eyeshadow Palette. And this is the colours here. So I think I'm going to do a fall inspired smoky eye using this shade. Take this shade here first off. And I'm just going to start by buffing this just in my crease. I'm so, so excited for this palette because I have obviously never used Wet n Wild shadows before. So I'm just so excited to see how they perform. So I'm next going to go into this shade here. She's just going to pat that all over the lid. So I'm getting a wee bit of fallout now, obviously because I'm starting to pack on this shade quite heavy. <laughs> oh, I actually quite like that. 
So grabbing that fluffy brush again, I'm just going to blend out those edges. So yeah, I don't know if I want to get completely matte or use some of these shimmer shades. So these are shimmer shades here and then there's this one. So I think I might dip into this one, although it kind of depends how it looks on the lid. Hmm, that worked great. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in the brush into this shit here. Do you know what? I'm really tempted to cheat a wee bit. So I for my mirror I've been using this MAC highlighter and this is the Dazzle Pink Dazzle highlighter, but Look, this highlighter, it is amazing. I don't know if you can, I don't even know if the camera is going to do it justice, but it is absolutely amazing. Got to cheat. And apply some of that to my lid. And by Jesus, it is working. Next up we have the Wet n Wild Mega Liner Liquid Liner and this is in the shade black I'm guessing. So yeah, black. <gasps> oh. So this is like just like a wee foam out of gear but look how fine that is and look how flexible that we nib is. <gasps> oh my god. I really really like that liner. Now for mascara, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara and I was actually quite surprised whenever this came because it is very very small. Um, I was expecting it to be somewhat bigger. <laughs> oh well, so let's see the wand. Oh, I think... Okay, so don't mean to be judgmental or anything, but I'm not really expecting much from this mascara. But let's see if it if it changes my mind. <laughs> Sorry, wet and well, but this mascara just isn't. Uh, uh. It's just average, it's just average. It's definitely the type of mascara that you would just use whenever you're applying false lashes because whenever you're applying false lashes, your mascara doesn't really matter anyway. And that's what we're going to do today. So for lashes, I got the LA Splash Cosmetics and these are the Dauntless lashes. I'm kind of worried about them because they kind of look a wee bit weird. At least you can kind of see the way they scoop down. And then it's just like, eh. <laughs> whereas I want lashes to go, whoosh, not. Eh. <sighs> I had to take my hairband off. It was giving me a headache. <laughs> okay, so lashes are on, and this is pretty much the finished look. The only product I have left is the setting spray. So this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. The mist seems. Not too bad. It's in a very small bottle. I will say that it is quite small. Just get my my hair out right of the way. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys really think that I'm over exaggerating, but I hate things being like splatter and spread on my face on a daily basis, sexual, by accident, in a water park, I do not care. I just hate things being sprayed on my face. Like don't get me wrong, like I can stand in the shower with like the water over my face, but whenever it's like a spray, 
Oh no, no, no. I will chen yu if you spray something in my face. <laughs> it's like smoking. Like, I smoke. But if you blow your smoke in my face, I will cut your tongue off. <laughs> God, I'm so aggressive, but in real life, I'm like a wee mice. I'll just zoom you in so you can see better. <laughs> I'm just gonna give a product rundown, not on all of the products because I do get bothered. <laughs> um, the only products that I didn't like were the liquid lipstick. I find that it is just accentuating all the wrinkles and the lines in my lips. Wrinkles and lines that I didn't even think I had. The highlighters, yeah, the highlighters. The highlighters were shit. Um, I don't know what the hype is. Please, someone enlighten me. So as I was saying earlier that I was really, really happy with my base makeup, such as my foundation and my concealer. The powder was okay, I got there eventually, but, but, <laughs> I have never in my life had a foundation that has emphasized my pores, especially in here and in here, 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 here. I'm gonna zoom these in and I hope you can see it. Like, can you see how bad that is? Uh, like, especially like around here. Like, I never have problems with my pores around here. Sorry for the extreme close up again, but around here. But I like the bronzer, the bronzer was nice. Blusher was lovely. The palette was absolutely fantastic, it was grand. The shimmer shades needed a wee bit of work. Um, I love the liquid liner, I really, really enjoyed the liquid liner. It was great, I'll definitely be using that again. That was it. Um, so let me guys know what you thought of this video and thank you so, so much for watching. And don't forget to add me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. They will be linked and listed down below. And I hope to see you all in my next video.